Greetings, internet. Richard James here. Welcome back to Assassin's Creed Rogue. And as you can see, we're about to head, well, to find Franklin's house. So, let's head up top. Yeah, everything's a damn restricted area. Alright, they're over that way and I'm going this way, so that's not a problem to me. Side. Oh. That that time. And just so you don't wake up. That's one way of getting in. Didn't get seen. Shay, oh, it is good to see you again. Your friend Hope said you were away. I, I, I was. Uh, sir, I, I've come to collect the results of your experiments. Oh, well, it's a very good thing then. I just finished fixing the prototype. Here you go. I was preparing to leave for Philadelphia, and then Europe. I was invited to lecture in London. Oh, would you be so kind as to inform Mistress Hope? Yeah, of course. God, Hope. What are you doing with these felons? Turning the city against itself. What have you become? Something the matter, Master Cormac? Uh, no, no. Yes, just old memories. When I am issued new recruits burdened with regrets, I tell them the surest way to lose them is with gunpowder. You're right, Colonel. This prototype seems very powerful. Use it with care, Master Cormac. Our intelligence says this thing can destroy certain fortifications, as well as injure several enemies at once. There is also a more subtle way to use it. Some of these grenades contain a strong sedative. Fire one into the crowd and they will fall asleep immediately. Oh, we should test this new weapon. Oh. Use it against that door. Yeah, I would say it's a grenade launch by the sounds of it. Go ahead, Master Cormac. Shoot the door. Oh, you want to use the shrapnel one? All right, yeah. Use the these comic. grenades to destroy that door. I'm trying to, but the game seems to be doing other things. All right, and good work. Good work. Nice. I think you were ready to turn this new weapon against the ruffians who would have used it. There is an abandoned factory nearby hiding a dangerous poison. Right now, it only causes sleep. But I fear those outlaws are distilling it. A more powerful formula could sicken or perhaps even kill most of New York. But not my first target. Be careful, Master Cormac. We understand that the ingredients are highly unstable. All the better. Right. So blowing them up should probably kill everyone. If they're that volatile. It's full of them. I would assume. Oh, okay, so I have to actually blow them up because that would just seem silly. It'd alert everyone to my presence straight away. If 
I mess with this, maybe I can break the whole system. God's sake, stay still. Yeah, go to sleep. Sleep grenade, not uh, shrapnel. We run We import. Now, hey, what are you doing here? Causing problems. Why? Hey, what are you doing here? Still causing problems. That's the point. Hey, what are you doing here? The whole place will blow up. Nice. More sleepy, sleepy times. Bouncy. Hey, right. what are you doing here? You all keep saying that. I'm looting. What does it look like I'm doing? The whole place will blow up. Yeah. Funny, pretty sure you said that several times. I like to live dangerously. Nighty night. Right, back to the shrapnel. Is this one? Unguarded. Okay. Fine by me. I must get out, or I'm as good as dead. Okay, let's go. Gas mask on. Leave. Big banner bomb. Big banner bomb. Mischief managed. Ah, what marvelous destruction, Captain. I saw the smoke all the way from the Morrigan. That should discourage those miscreants. New York is safe for now. With all due respect, Colonel, it's going to take more than a few explosions to get rid of this kind of trouble. The boy is right, Colonel Monroe. Shay, was it? Congratulations. You just burned a whole lot of rats out of New York. I'm Jack Weeks. This is William Johnson. I don't know about him, but I'm pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you as well. It is uh, terribly dusty here. I'm sure Shay can recount his adventures to us over a pint. Hey, the first round's on uh, the Colonel. Huh? <laughs> Something the matter, Master Cormac? Just a little confused. I uh, must have breathed some of that gas. Some ale will do you good. Come, we are all friends here. You will be taken care of. Well. Oh, we'll be on to another memory sequence. Okay.
Now loading. Are we being dragged out of the Animus again, or are we carrying on? This feels like we're being taken out of the Animus. Oh no, we're still in. Sequence 4, North Atlantic, August 1757. Dear Master Cormac, my apologies for the brevity of this missive, but it is time we were honest with one another. You have demonstrated your loyalty and resourcefulness to the Templar cause, and this despite and perhaps because of your assassin origins. The manuscript the assassin sought has been in my possession for some time. I reclaimed it when my men found you marooned. The Grand Master himself charged me to discover its meaning, a task I regret I have failed to complete. I leave it in your charge, Master Cormac. There is no one else I trust more. Now I leave for Fort William Henry, an ill-prepared garrison surrounded by hostile natives and the French army. We have requested reinforcements, but I doubt they will be forthcoming. I have no illusions that our resistance will be successful. I commit my life to the British Army and my soul to the Father of Understanding. Yours, Colonel George Monroe. Oh. Well, he knew who we were all along. Do I have different costumes? Oh no. Oh yeah, outfits. I actually have quite a lot of outfits that I didn't know about. Oh, I like that one. Alright, so everything else is unlocked if I uh, carry on. Of course, we've got Altairs and Ezios. Oh, we've got Connors. Edward Kenways. Arnos. Bayex. Wait, what? We added all these into it as well. I'll stick with the one I've got. I don't need to get any weapons. I'm alright with the ones I've got. They work. Alright, let's go and take the wheel. Wait, can I claim my money from here? Yes, I can. Good to know. So I don't have to go back to New York every time to collect the money. I can just go to the captain's quarters. Alright. Captain's at the helm! Alright, well, show them once, guys. Find your post, guest. The colonel's in trouble. How do you mean, in trouble? He's at Fort William Henry, facing impossible odds. Get off your lazy asses, lads, and man your stations! We raise anchor! Sorry for the early libation, Captain. But do you realize that it's been a whole year since we met? <laughs> a whole year! Changed my life, you did. And for the better. <laughs> you will uh, forgive me if I have been uh, celebrating without you. A whole year. Guest, I have a question for you. How long have you known of my, well, former allegiance? Oh, uh, you mean the assassins? I knew that ages ago, Shay. I may be drunk, but I'm not blind. Or did you think I would assume you had escaped from some homicidal circus? Why didn't you say anything? Well, the Colonel wanted us to avoid the subject so it wouldn't, you know, influence your decision-making. You saved my life out of pure selfless instinct, and helped countless others besides. If it were up to me, I would have made you an official Templar months ago. Who is it up to, then? Monroe mentioned a Grand Master. Oh, yes. The Grand Master of a colonial right. You'd like him, Shay. His father was an assassin. Really? He must have a story to tell. What is the news from Fort William Henry? The garrison is surrounded, and reinforcements are late. 
General Montcalm has been blazing a path across the colonies for King Louis, hasn't he? Right. Let's have a look at the map, see how far away we are here. Because there's a lot of stuff. Oh dear god. Right, this is somewhere we can't actually just go to for fast travel, so. Here's our King Louis. Either. Let the story continue. Indeed. Madame O'Murphy is supposed to be quite the charmer. I know Murphy is in the French king's bed. Now I know you're pulling my leg. New missions available in the naval campaign. I don't care. God, this is painstakingly slow. Are you sure I can have fast travel somewhere nearby? Oh, I can't fast travel. That's useful. Probably should have paid more attention when I was looking. And probably we're facing the wrong way completely. Get the maid! There we go. There was a river valley. I could have fast travelled. Loading, saving, everything. Yeah, no, I'm not traveling for 2,000 meters there. Right, I'll have a fast travel nearby. Yes, there it is. That will do very nicely. Off we go. I've already been here before. Shay, you are a sight for sore eyes. Jack? Colonel Monroe surrendered to General Montcalm. The French and their Abenaki allies took Fort Henry. Johnson was supposed to bring reinforcements here. I don't see anyone else. The Abenaki are restless. They don't understand the terms of surrender and refuse to heed Montcalm. The colonel and his men were released this morning. They're walking into an ambush. Wait here in case Johnson arrives. I'll... I'll protect the colonel. Thank you. Maybe... I can finally repay my debt to him. Not too late. See ya. That's another one, okay. Uh, I think just a standard pistol will do here. No, you don't. Seem he needs saving. That's the last of them. Master Cormac. Sir, we must hurry. We should bring what's left of your man to the Morgan. A welcome offer, Captain Cormac. Follow me. Safe passage is ahead. Oh, where are we going then? This way? So if you don't mind me asking, 
What happened at Fort William Henry? Poor planning and poor luck, I'm afraid. Montcalm was able to bombard us for days. Damn frog. Actually, he acted with great honor. When we sent for Parley, he returned an offer far more generous than anticipated. We kept our arms, and more importantly, our colors. Only to walk into a trap. I would hardly expect the French to defend us. Would you? No, I wouldn't. You continue to prove your loyalty to the Templars, Master Cormac. Risking your life for me. We're not out of the woods yet, Colonel. As for my loyalty, well... I do owe you. Don't I? You saved my life. Gave me a second chance. We have been working together for a year now. During that time, you have rendered many great services. Whatever debt you imagine you have towards me is paid, wouldn't you say? Perhaps. Okay. You ain't retrieved nowhere. Keep your men moving. You know. I'll scout ahead and signal if there's trouble. Go on, keep climbing. So who's waiting for me up here then? There's a lot of you here, isn't there? Now, you no, you don't. Trying to escape you, yeah? I'm trying to kill you. There's a difference. Unfortunately, these walls are not being scalable right now. I'm on my way though, just give me a chance. Nah, uh, you probably will, because the game really does. Yeah, okay, just take me straight to the bottom, even though it's near impossible to climb already. You know, y'all could come down here and help me, that'd be lovely. I prefer, you know, fighting on even play. Faster, faster. Hi! You have no business alive. You have no business being alive. What are you stuck on? Seriously, game! Damn it! Got stuck on someone, I couldn't take him out. Oh. I was hoping to clinch that as well in the last second.
See ya. How am I supposed to get over there without being seen? I've not figured that out. I don't know. I don't think there is a way. Okay, I did press X for human shield. It did. Nothing. I need to get out of sight. There we go. I remember when games used to have like health packs and stuff. They were so much better. Right, that'll do. Let's go. Hi, fellas. Hi. Bye. One more left. You won't even bother by me doing that, okay? That's nice. See ya. Kasegawase will not relent. Kasegawase? You know this man, Master Cormac. Aye, Colonel. He is one of Achilles' men. An assassin. As I was. So they know I am a Templar. And now this assassin knows you live. And work with Templars. I'm no fool, Colonel. The assassins will come after me next. We're both targets now. Are we gonna ambush or are we just gonna actually get to the ship? You know that's a trap, right? Indeed, Master Cormac. We have little choice. We survived French cannons, we will survive this. Ready to take him down! <laughs> He's in my sight! Here, Sarkisman, get back. Get your hopes up. I'll keep up with way. I can hit him from here. Not on my watch, Toad. Come, follow me. Oh, got me shit. Okay, they all got through while I was attacking everyone. Make haste. We're here. Don't worry. We have a couple of seconds to spare. Loose the sails. You heard the captain, men. Let's get out of here. Move, move, Chase. I owe you my life, Master Cormac. As do I, Colonel. We have much to discuss. However, I must tend to my troops. Sir, I will accompany you to Johnson's training post at Onokwaga. Then I shall depart at once, Master Cormac. Meet me there. You're on my ship, so where are you going to depart from? Don't get detected. Don't take any damage. Yeah, that wasn't going to happen either. Not the way I play. But we're back to the ship. That's the main thing. And we're going to pick this up in the next part. When we'll, well, I'll probably just fast travel there, to be fair, and we'll pick it up then. But thank you very much for watching, as always, guys. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, share with all your friends, and hopefully... I'll see you in the next part. But until then, stay happy, people. Well, now I'm